Hey Math Maniacs, it is Vanessa here, and I'm here today to show you a quick little tag game you might want to do in the gym with your students. Because we do like to, at times, bring numeracy into the gym, uh, and we're going to show you how to play rock, paper, scissors, add. Alright, so this game is just like rock, paper, scissors, tag, but we will explain it in case you're not familiar with how to do that game. So what happens is, in this game, it's an everybody is it game, so they have to run around, and of course, with it being COVID, we have different ways where kids need to tag, whether you're doing an elbow tag, or they're just getting really close to the person, pointing, and then calling their name. So we know that you'll figure out how to get them to tag, but once they are tagged, they do a round of rock, paper, scissors. So in the normal version, they would just do a round of rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and see who wins or who loses. Uh, the loser would then crouch down and have to stay down until the person who got them out loses a round, and then they're back up and in the game. So how we're gonna play this and make it a math game is instead of playing rock, paper, scissors, shoot, we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors, add. So how this game works is, they we start off with usually with them just doing sums to 10. So they have one hand and they can choose to put out either between one or five fingers. So we say, put your hand behind your back and with your partner say, rock, paper, scissors, add. When you say add, you um, pull out how many fingers you have. And whoever is the first person to say what the sum is, is the winner, so they would then keep running around and taking people. The person who was not first would crouch down, wait for the person who got them out to be out, and come back in. Now, if you have some kids who maybe have some anxiety, where you've got a wide range of kids and some are just super fast with their facts and some aren't, and you don't want to get quite as competitive, you could divide your class into two teams, the odd versus the even, and give them two different colored pennies. And for example, you might have the red pennies be odd, the green pennies be even, and what would happen is the same thing where they'd have behind their back their fingers. They'd say rock, paper, scissors, add. They would have to add what the number is and then decide is it an odd or an even sum, right? If it turned out to be an even sum, the person who was on the even team would then run around and still take people and the person who's odd would crouch down and wait for the other person to um, get out before returning to the game. So I have my two friends from Math Mania. We've got Jamie and Aaron here to demonstrate. So let's watch them do a quick round of rock, paper, scissors, add. All right, so here we've got Aaron and Jamie and they were just gonna start running around and playing. They're so excited. But I said, no, do a quick wave and hello first to the camera, ladies, ready? All right, so we're gonna start. Remember, this is an everybody's it game, so either Aaron can take Jamie or Jamie can take Aaron. Ready, set, play. You see here, Jamie's ready to play. She's showing what number she's gonna pull out behind her back for when she says the word add after rock, paper, scissors, add. Paper, scissors, add. <laughs> so Jamie is down. Jamie's gonna pull out her number behind her back. how the odd versus even version would work. So we bought here, Jamie is yellow. We're gonna say that yellow team is even numbers for this round. And Erin is green, so she's odd numbers. Now, what that means is that just refers to what the sum is. Jamie can still decide to put out an odd number she wants. Erin can put out an even number, that doesn't matter. It's no longer about how fast the children uh, say what the sums are, but it's more about is it an even number or an odd number in terms of who is victorious. All right, so let's see how these ladies are going to play. So they're going to do the same thing, we're going to take each other and do rock, paper, scissors, add. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, add. Four, even. Good job, Karen. Woo! So because it's an even number, even though Karen is first, Jamie's on the team, even she gets to run around and keep playing. Because I'm the odd one. Woo! And that's nice. Yes. 